show that the function is defined is from r to r given by f of x equal to x cube is injective. Injective refers to one to one condition. Let us assume f of x1 equal to f of x2. So, x1 cube equal to x2 cube, thus it is x1 equal to x2. How else to prove this? You can write x1 cube minus x2 cube equal to 0 and expanding we will get x1 minus x2, x1 square plus x1 x2 plus x2 square equal to 0. This term cannot be equated to 0 because if we equate this term to 0, we get a complex number. This we have already seen in one of the questions in exercise 2. And hence, we can equate only this term to 0. So, x1 minus x2 equal to 0, which yields x1 equal to x2. Thus, f is injective. Now, the next question, we need to give examples of two functions f and g such that the function of functions or composition of functions gof, it is injective, but g is not injective. So, we need to find functions that gives gof is injective, but g is not injective. So, there is uh, no mention about f of x or uh, f and hence we will take a simple function f of x equal to x. Since it has been told that g is not injective and the g is mapped in integers, we can write g of k equal to mod k because mod k is not one to one. So, g looks something like this. So, domain has all integers negative and positive codomain also has all integers negative and positive. So, if it is mod codomain equal to mod k for one particular k value if it is negative it is also mapped to positive value here and this is also mapped here. Let us say this is minus 1 and 1 and this is 1 which is true. Hence it is, hence it is not injective. So, we have satisfied this condition and we can split g of k as g of k equal to k for k greater than 0 and g of k equal and g of k equal to minus k for k lesser than 0. Thus, gof is nothing but g of f of x which is equal to g of x which is equal to mod x again. So, gof and uh, g it seems one and the same, but how come this gof can be injective? Let us see. So, injective check for gof. So, the domain and codomain for gof. This is g of f of x and this is f of x. So, if you notice we know f of x equal to x and it is mapped from n to z. That is all x values lies in n natural numbers. So, technically f of x also lies in natural numbers. That is only the positive numbers in f of x, they have pre image in domain and technically f of x is mapped from n to n for f of x equal to x because x belongs to n and f of x also belongs to n because there is no negative number here and hence we are ignoring the negative integers 
and hence we are taking only the positive integers here. So if we write domain and codomain relationship for f of x, we get domain codomain, this is x and this is f of x, this is in n and this is in z. So I will have a lot of all the positive numbers here and here negative and positive numbers. Since f of x equal to x, only positive numbers they will have a pre-image in domain. That is the reason why we say technically f of x is mapped from n to n not n to z. Now coming back to Goff. So domain is defined as f of x and codomain is g of f of x. So we said f of x is mapped from n to n and hence all natural numbers are positive numbers here. And g of f of x. g of f of x we know g is defined in z and hence it can contain negative and positive numbers. However, all the positive numbers here in the domain, they have an image in codomain, a unique image in codomain. Because here only natural numbers are considered. Here even if I consider negative, there is no pre-image for these negative numbers in domain and it is unique as well because I cannot get same codomain value for two different positive values of domain elements in mod, in mod function. So that is the reason why we say x1 equal to x2 and hence Goff is injective. Now injective check for uh, g, that is g of x. So this already we have discussed. So obviously g of minus m equal to m and g of m is also equal to m. Thus for two values of k we get same value of g, thus it is not an injective function. So f of x equal to x and, uh, and g of k equal to mod k. These are the two functions or examples of two functions that satisfy the given condition.